Hi guys, this is GSN Olaco and I'm here with the unboxing of the Motorola Moto G5 S Plus. I know that's a mouthful. We've already reviewed the Moto G5 and Moto G5 Plus. Now it's time for the S1, the Moto G5 S Plus. This gives a few extras from the predecessor. The biggest of them all is the fact we're getting a dual camera. Yes, finally, a Motorola phone with a dual camera before we get to the big one, the Z2 Force or um, what's its name. Uh, we get to play with this mid ranger with a dual camera. So, Moto G5 S Plus launched in August this year using a pretty beautiful metal shell which is not exactly very heavy it's time to unbox it right here right now mid-ranger with a dual camera 5.5 inch screen and a price of 350 dollars on most of the retail retailers in the box we got the manual and extra info and also in the box pretty hefty charger with a promise of turbo power charging i look into that uh, usually it's something like uh, charge the phone for 15 minutes and you get a couple of hours of talk time this is the cable it's of the micro usb to usb variety so no usb type c here and finally this thingy i cannot get out the holder for the metal key that will access the sim card slot and the phone comes in dual sim versions and single sim versions and it can also host a micro sd card slot so back to the star of the video moto g 5s plus that's a mouthful and it's got a full metal unibody approach 8 millimeter thickness which is not bad and with the camera bump it's actually 9.5 millimeters it weighs 168 grams and runs a pretty clean android 7.1 nuga let's remove this layer at the front and fire it up it's got a trademark fingerprint scanner here which you've already seen on the moto g5 g5 plus the screen is a full hd one with gorilla glass tea protection 5.5 inches in diagonal and the phone also has a special nano coating for the sake of water protection inside a very familiar cpu the same one from the moto z play snapdragon 625 octa core 2 gigahertz you know the drill it's accompanied by 3 or 4 gigabytes of ram 32 or 64 gigabytes of storage and a micro sd card slot the battery is a 3000 mAh hour unit which by the way the same capacity is available on the on the moto g 5s this is the g 5s plus with a dual back camera and um, that back camera the dual one has two um 13 megapixel sensors with f 2.0 aperture let's see them so these are two 12 megapixels uh, excuse me, there are two 13 megapixel sensors, so 13 megapixel each, f2.0 aperture, dual LED flash, some special depth mechanism here, 4K video capture and a portrait mode. Now up front, 8 megapixel camera and its very own LED flash. Fingerprint scanner checks out. And let's see what else. We got the speaker at the bottom, which is not something you see every day. Sometimes, well I would say most times, Motorola relies on the earpiece to give us music this time it preferred to use a special speaker at the bottom which is interesting to me we got two turbo power charging we got a clean experience on the android front there is no bloatware we're running on android 7.1.1 with a promise of receiving android audio very fast and i actually believe this promise because motorola actually belonged to google a couple of years ago now the stock camera ui is here let's check it out of course, you can already tell the selling point of the phone, the fact that it's solid and sturdy, made of metal, plus the dual back camera. 13 megapixel, there are two sensors with this resolution, you can film up to 4K, 30 frames per second, and you can also change the focus and exposure of the shots. And this is the special feature, the depth feature, so you can create the depth of field effects. Okay, I'll look into it, I'll be back with a full review. In the meantime, this has been the unboxing of the Motorola Moto G5S Plus, a 5.5 incher, dual camera phone, mid-range specs, 350 bucks, that's the price. This is it from us, bye-bye.